Hey, you guys. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. I want to uh, thank you so much for taking the time out to uh, listen to the call. This is a recording actually after our call because it did not record during. So uh, this week, I just want to talk about passion. I'm reading Entree Leadership, and it had a section in there about passion and how a lot of businesses out there are lacking passion. And you can see that from the top leader, the top leadership teams, all the way down through the whole companies and or the, the whole company. And uh, I just think that uh, in reading this information, I wanted to share it with you because I I think people can really tell if you are passionate about something or if you're just going through the motions. And I want to make sure that I am passionate about what I'm doing and not just going through the motions because people, again, can see that. And so I want to make sure that we spread that through our team as well, that we uh, show our passion and don't just go through those motions so that people can join us because of that passion. Um, I think that um, it's, it's a really good book, and if you can get your hands on it and read it, I would definitely do that. Um, without passion, we can't lead. Um, it, passion just helps cause things to move, and it creates um, it, it creates energy and movement, and it helps things to happen. And uh, it, in the book, it said it creates a force of multiplier, and it it can it covers a multitude of sins, is what it said in the book. And I I like how that it talked about that because if I can tell that you as a customer service representative of whatever company care and that you have passion for what you do and what your job is, and you make a mistake. And, it, and this is the example in the book, is that you, I'm, I'm going to be more forgiving if I feel like you care about the mistake that was given. But if I feel like you don't care because I don't see that passion in you, then I'm going to like molest everywhere the lack of um, customer service, good customer service that is in your company. So passion definitely can be seen through and it can cover a multitude of sins. Um, Leaders that have passion, um, I think, well, people who really care about what they do and have deep concerns and deep cares about what they do, how they do it, and who they're working with, uh, show passion. And that's, I mean, pretty much what it is, right? So I think that um, if you have a team or a business that is passionate, or that has a passionate leader, or the team is passionate, which is my goal for my team, uh, then you have an organization with energy. And again, I think that energy, and I mentioned this in the book, um, will make things move, make things happen, make things take place so that you can progress and grow and hit those goals. And if you truly deeply care, then it's going to run through your coaches. It's going to run through your team, your organization, your downline, and also through your challengers and your challenge groups. So if we don't know anything about coaching, then that's okay. If we have passion about this area, but yet know nothing about coaching and how to coach, that can come. But if we don't have a clue about any of that and we're willing to learn it, but we have that passion and we have a heart of a servant, that is all we need to be successful. I truly believe that and I feel that deep down inside. I didn't always think that and I sometimes thought that I wasn't qualified to to be a coach, but that's so not true. We are qualified if we have that passion and that heart of a servant because that's what this job is about. That's what it should be about, and that's what I hope that everyone on my team feels that it's about. Uh, so to end this little meaty conversation, um, I want to end with a quote, and I got it out of the book. I didn't write down who actually said it, but Dave Ramsey did um, uh, mention it from someone else. It says the most untutored person with passion is more persuasive than the most eloquent without. And that makes me feel so much better again about that last thing I said, coaching. If we feel like we we're not an expert in nutrition, we're not a doctor, we're not, 
uh, this expert in this area, fitness expert, we sometimes can get caught up thinking we don't, we're not qualified to be a coach. We're not qualified to help someone lose weight, but we're an encourager. We're just coaching them to keep going. We are their um, motivator. They're um, that person that just dangles that carrot in front of them to say, hey, remember your goals? Hey, you wanted to get this. And you just move it forward so that they can keep going and, and, and reach them. And we don't have to have all these credentials to have passion. We don't have to have all the credentials to have a heart of a servant, and we don't have to have the credentials to believe in what Beachbody stands for. So that motivates me so much, and it changes my thoughts. So my challenge to you this week is to definitely, you need, if you want your business to grow, I'm working on this as myself as well, then take the Power Hour training in Mindy's Family uh, Facebook group page. You, there's a link. It'll take you to a website, uh, Kajabi, where it stores all of the lessons. The whole, all of the lessons for the power hour training take about 45 minutes of your time. They are short, sweet, to the point and broken up into two, four, five minute episodes where you can just batch watch them or catch, you know, a couple at a time and come back to it. But it's a total of 45 minutes, well worth your time. And it's changing the way I do things. So I encourage you and challenge you to go in and do that. Um, as soon as you can, so you can start ordering your day and then you can get an hour of work in towards Beachbody and anything extra is just icing on the cake. So thank you so much for making it to the end of this call. I hope that it was helpful information. I hope it encourages you and gives you a jump start into your business and what you're working towards and um, meet me back here on Zoom at uh, 8 o'clock, sorry, Central Standard Time, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time next Tuesday or every Tuesday. I'll be here and ready to help share and encourage and motivate and keep us going. I have big goals and dreams for this team, and I know that we can make it. If you have uh, stumbled upon this video somehow and made it through the end of this and you don't have a coach and you're looking for something to help um, – just up the quality of your life because you uh, love health and fitness or you love helping people and you have a story to share or you have a journey that you're wanting to start, reach out to me at Lindsay, uh, sorry, coachlindsay.ali at gmail.com and let's chat. I would love to share more about this and um, see if you're a great fit for our team. All right. Thanks for watching y'all and I will see y'all later. Bye.